The driving here has been really rough, so I'm sure there's going to be a big crash in turn one and maybe even turn two. So hopefully I can navigate through it and maybe come out uh, in somewhere in the 20s by the first lap and then just start picking them off. I think our speed's there. Um, we're right there with the front runners. So I think, uh, I think if I stay out of the mess the first couple laps, I, we can maybe pull a top 10 out of this. Well, what about the level of competition this weekend at Super Nationals 13? Oh, it's obviously very high. I mean, we've got the best drivers here. I mean, it's just the same as the World Championships. So should be good. Uh, I think uh, we got the speed. I think we've done a good job with our engines to keep up with the tech savs. Uh, Rainey at Sweet Tech and myself have put a lot of hard work into it. So uh, really proud of Rainey for what he's done. And uh, I think uh, fortunately we had some bad heats, but I think we can s still salvage a good top 10 out of this and uh, come, uh, come out of here with our heads held high, uh, knowing that we, we can run with the best with our own stuff. So. So I, all in all, regardless of how the weekend goes, I think uh, it was kind of a success, small success for me and, and Rainey to know that we can run with the best with our own stuff and not have to have these factory suitcase engines. Oh, what's been your biggest challenge this weekend? Uh, just bad luck. Uh, just that racing luck. We've had a, a, lot of, a lot of stupid things happen to us, so if we can shake that off, I think we can, we can definitely run on with these guys. Uh, other than that, I mean, the biggest challenge has been just trying to get the chassis right for us. And uh, I think in the morning one, we, we found uh, some things that we liked, and I think we can uh, maybe push it a little bit f further for the final, and I think we can, we can arrive in the top ten positions for sure. Thanks a lot.